Okay, so in this one, we'll do a little bit more of a interview for grammar or more of a um, example of using grammar in Vietnamese. So let's see how to say the sentence every day I speak Vietnamese. Now, again, there's more ways to say it. There's one can say daily I speak it or if I really want to say it in a technical way, every day with using the word every and so on. Then um, there's more ways even for that word, but um, I'll use a way that would be very common to say it. So, uh, I want to say this sentence. Now, let's follow up with how to actually say it. So, um, we will use the word every, we will use the word day, I speak Vietnamese exactly, basically in this uh, order. It is possible to construct a sentence that's basically one of the most generic ways to say the sentence in Vietnamese and without having to have a different word order in the, in the translation. So let's see. I'm really matching the words here. Now, um, This is um, two words, but it's just just the language name. Okay, it's not uh, nothing more than that. I, I mentioned it in a previous one. So anyway, what we can see here is this sentence that was just constructed as a translation. Now I'll describe the individual words. So, moi with this um, cracky tone means every, every single. All right, that means every. Uh, Ngà means day, toi is I, noi is speak, and tiếng Việt is uh, Vietnamese. So that's that. We have it, we have the sentence, mỗi ngày toi noi tiếng Việt. So this is the sentence that uh, one uh, uses to say every day I speak Vietnamese. Now, um, there's a lot of tones, and we'll get to them in a, next, in a later one. But um, what else can we talk about here? Well, this is a thing that's very common, toi, is the most common way to say I, but the most generic, so to say, in Vietnamese. It's the most generic way. There's far more ways to say I in a generic way, but there's even more ways to say I in different contexts. Not that it's hard grammatically, not the grammar stays, but there's just more ways to say I knew, and even them, he, and so on, based on the individual situation of the person. So that's to be kept in mind, but when we're talking about general sentences, I'm talking about sentence structure, the, that the choice doesn't matter, and we will use um, uh, I as so. And then we have uh, this rest here, which is um, quite straightforward. This is the word to speak. Okay, no, it's uh, very common. Okay, um, it's also used to to what are you saying? Uh, I speak this language. I say this. So even the say, the speak context, it can be used. No, very common word with the raising tone, with the rising tone. Yes, and nga, it's day means day, all right? So, mỗi ngày is every single day, all right? Every day. And then, um, tiếng Việt, it's uh, Vietnamese. We use this tiếng for any language and then we follow up with the uh, classification of what country it belongs to. 